Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom on this evening where I'm attempting to catch up with everything. And that includes, okay, this is season three, episode 17 of Lucifer. We met Abel briefly. Are we going to see Abel again is the big question, but I can't believe, I can't believe they had the ambulance just take him out. <laughs> that was crazy pants. And the Abel we saw that had been tortured for millennia was not the Abel I expected at all. And speaking of hell, we heard Charlotte's hell loop was just her watching her family be murdered over and over and over again by the people she got set free. That would be a hell loop. And it was a scene that was done so beautifully, so beautifully. But the question remains, where do we go next? Lucifer's plan to <laughs> bring back Abel was flawed. It was flawed because the act still took place. Even though you resurrected Abel, Cain still killed him at one point in time. Rhetorical question here, y'all. Is Pierce ever just gonna go, you know, this is my lot in life, I will just deal as I always have or will we actually get it to a point where Pierce dies I don't know which one I want for him <laughs> because remember he's the sinner man that shit went down on his watch that cannot be forgiven what would his hell he's in his hell loop but what more of a hell loop could he be in Oh, we're starting getting meta. We're starting to get meta, but I'm excited. It might not sound like it, but I'm excited to get to it. And I'm so glad you are all here with me. You make this part of the journey so much more fun. So we are going to get locked and loaded. We are going to, if you're watching me on Patreon, thank you. You can watch the full episode where my Tourette motor tics are out of control tonight. So fun for you guys. <laughs> But you sync up your copy, I sync up mine. We watch together, we have a good time, especially since I have been drinking amaretto sours because it sounded, it's fall. Bring on the amaretto. <laughs> Are we ready? Let's get to it. Without me, we wouldn't have been in danger in the first place. Oh, right, he's gonna get super extra protective again. I must stay away from you to protect you. We need to dissolve our unholy alliance. Right. The risk. That's right. Lucifer did say he was no longer going to fulfill his side of the deal. Hmm. He cannot apply proper makeup in a dark room with terrible lighting and have it look nice. A Zara with an X. Okay. <laughs> Is this not going to be her? Like her dance double is going to be murdered instead. Yep. Yeah. Holy shit! That wasn't just a shot. That was a... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. She was skewered. Key word. I've decided to take myself out of the spotlight. So no more killing Pierce to get back at your dad. I mean, that whole Mark of Cain thing was so dreary, so nihilistic. <laughs> there are far better ways to spend my time. Oh? Yes. Uh, well, I could brew my own artisanal beer, I'll take a mm. nude painting class. Again. <laughs> if the bomb was God targeting Chloe for your defiance, then maybe it's good that you're quitting. But quitting is a strong word. I'm just saying, sometimes we push boundaries we shouldn't and cause rifts with people we care about. It's only fair we take our share of responsibility in a conflict, even if the other is somewhat irrational. Dr. Linda, what are you saying? Maybe even apologize. Well, let's not go crazy. Oh, she's thinking about herself and Maze, but still. A clue. What is happening? What is ha 
happening? I just noticed that you may be a little blue. Ta-da! I went around the precinct and asked everyone to write a positive little note about you. Pierce has nice arms. Well, agree. <laughs> the lieutenant You're has You're giving them all right arms. now. <laughs> right again. Two arms, two compliments. <laughs> Pierce is wicked smart. Wicked smart. Now that is a compliment. It says really and has nice great arms. arms. <laughs> you got to get in there and do something. Yeah. I don't know. What? Why not? It's just Pierce is Cuz it's me. <laughs> If anyone knows what it feels like to be in the crapper, it's you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> you are positive dude numero uno. Are we going to get Pierce in some improv classes now? Or <laughs> he could improv that he died. <laughs> has he ever... Has he ever done that? Just kind of buried himself alive for a bit. Azara. And a backup dancer, Jill, decided to switch positions last minute. So was this the first time she had switched? Yeah. She didn't say anything to anyone on the crew. I don't think so. She had the exact same outfit already on the ready. Does this mean we're canceling the Asia and the Europe tours? Let's not panic until we know exactly what happened here. As long as Azara's in the spotlight, she has a target on her back. Yes. The spotlight is dangerous. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm not mellow. I'll be able to take myself mm -hmm. out of my dad's spotlight, but I can take the detective out of mine. What are you talking about? Nothing. He'll thank me later. Oh, yes, this is when Lucifer does the Lucifer spin. Now, I've always had an interest in the personal protection business, Rob. Bob. Bob, right. <laughs> are you coming? I think I'm just going to stay here and chat to my new friend, Rob. Bob. In fact, if someone were wondering about my list of favorite people, Bob might just be at the top. Really? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> Can you think of anyone who may have wanted to hurt you? <laughs> you should check Azara's social media. So many obsessed crazies. Love you, Cece. And she makes a mean turmeric smoothie. Including Cece? There is one guy who did kind of threaten me. Patrick. And who might Patrick be? My ex, backup singer. But he said something like, uh, I hope Azara dies a horrible, painful death. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did she get May's an axe? What? Come on, Ace. <laughs> I brought you a gift to, you know, bury the hatchet. I don't want to lose you, Maze. She drinking Brothers Bond bourbon. <laughs> I lost him in a deal. Well, you broke up with him, not lost him. Oh, excuse us. I think we're in the wrong interrogation room. You looking for Patrick Manning? That's me, honey. Well, I see someone stole some of his Who has a very and fishnets a severance pay. Yeah, a little similar aesthetic. We know that you still had the backstage security pass, which means access and motive. Do I hate her? Yes. It was a bitch to work for that bitch, but she did not fire me. <laughs> I quit. Well, Patrick, or Patty, if you didn't want Azara dead, tell me. What did you desire? Hmm. Oh, to be he fell quick. But my version. Fell quick. A better version. How could I compete with her if she was kaput? I didn't see it. Didn't see his rise to the top. Where were you last night? On stage. For real? Act at the hideaway. Oh, that stage. <laughs> I'm like, on that stage? Tuesday's the new Friday now that Patty's doing a Zara. Ask around. Oh. Everyone wants a piece of a Zara 2.0. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the obsessive wannabes. Sad, sad. Did Azara take out her backup dancer? That's my thought. Literally anything. Gosh, I can't think of anyone I care about that much. Except for Miss Lopez. World's greatest forensic scientist? <laughs> wow. Wow. Every day is a celebration when you're around, darling. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> And apparently, she held an online contest last week. Meet 
our winner. I can't wait for our love to be real. I will make you feel the same way. And they had this man win. Didn't fudge who won a smidge. Poor Pauline. Pauline? Hit my friend who works the intake desk at the precinct. His friend. His friend. Wow. <laughs> You're keeping your distance as a way of protecting yourself. And you know what, Lucifer? That's cool. If you need to reverse Oprah me just to feel less afraid, then by all means, knock yourself out. <laughs> Why not spread the love? Mm. I mean, everyone deserves a little Lucifer. How generous of you. Thank you very much. After me. <clears throat> Seems I'm not the only one ignoring you. Perhaps you're just not that interesting, detective. He says while fooling a new one. Honey. What? I have no right to stay in her world. I lived for Azara. Now I die for her. That's awfully convenient. Wow. Wow, it's right. A textbook post-murder guilt-driven suicide. A little too textbook, if you ask me. Oh, look what just arrived. Who wants a t-shirt? So did they? I know, I'm trying to solve the case, but. One for you. <laughs> did they announce that Azara died? Or did they announce anything publicly? Might want to keep that in the down low. Huh? <laughs> wow. What is all this? Azara swag. Thank you, Gifts, for solving the case. Apparently, she'd have come in person, but she's busy rehearsing for her rescheduled show at the bowl. What? Which means no shows. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to take it up with the police commissioner, because apparently he and Azara are poker buddies. It's all been sorted. But, oh, hello. <laughs> and Azara bobblehead. Well, I'm not gonna die That's no frightening. More. <laughs> <laughs> Who's deserving of this little laugh? Uh... Yeah, give it to Pierce. <laughs> A decade. Hello, I'm trying to compliment my you myself. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, I'm I'm just having a wee bit of a conflict with uh, with a friend of mine. Conflict, my specialty. Mediating <laughs> conflict. I mean, <laughs> let me help you. I feel so good. It's like I'm floating. Although that might. Might be the three gimlets I had at lunch. Mm -hmm. So, yes? I've never had a gimlet. It's on my list. I got a list, a long list, but. So you know how you thought Azaro's super fan suicide was a little too neatly wrapped up? Uh-huh. Benny died the day before that firework exploded. Wow. He's our first murder victim. So Benny's suicide wow. was staged before the attack at the bowl. Yeah. That's a lot of work. A lot of effort. And that Azara mm -hmm. is still in serious danger. The killer's still out there. This month's winner is Pauline. So if you'd all like to raise a glass, if you have one. To, <laughs> to Pauline. Who knows? She's a temp. <laughs> I just realized Ella's wearing her shirt. <laughs> I know exactly what you're going through, but I've been there. That very stool, actually. Huh. Wait. They went to have a drink at Lux's. <laughs> and now it's coming up Dan. Is it? Is it? I'm ready to start dating. Hell, you and I are even friends. <laughs> mm. Friendlier. Pierce is growing a beard, isn't he? It's like this eternal wasteland of meaningless existence. A dark void staring down at you just waiting to get mowed down by the next tsunami of crap it does feel like that often wow maybe we all are just destined to win did you hear him singing in his office dan pierce ends up dra dragging dan down so, with the killer still out there, I can't let you perform tomorrow night. Detective, if I hit say? under a rock every time there's an issue, I'd still be doing bar mitzvahs. Okay. Detective, now I say we let Pinhead sing. <laughs> he said the title of the episode. <laughs> That's why. That's you know what? Maybe the you should title of the episode. I assure you, I'm Came fine. From. 
<clears throat> oh, ah! Detective, what are you doing? This, this is no time for heroics. Okay, I'm kind of hoping up we we wrap up this bit of Lucifer's theory quickly because all of this uh, could I'm get fine. old. Your partner's actually the one with the medic. Huh? Wait, let's stand in front of the glass on the thing. Wait. <laughs> With her back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> While you're in danger, you're under 24-hour LAPD protection led by me. That's ridiculous. Agreed. She's a terrible choice. I'll do it. Sure. Sure, Lucifer, you're trained to. So you're going to be my bodyguard? Where's Bob? The only reason I'm agreeing to this is hiding Zara at your penthouse is an unpredictable choice. You're very open to the public, whoever goes up the elevator penthouse. Oh, there's Bob. There's Bob. <laughs> Come on. About two weeks ago. You are standing on his couch. Baby, I saw the picture sent you. Well, would you like to tell her that for were you shopping to cook dinner, Lucifer? Sorry, I need to rehearse. No, yes, of course, of course, whatever you need. Right, a chap. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Bob. 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 Oh. Please tell me, how can I better focus my attention on you? Mm. Well, if you can make yourself useful, unless that's just a prop. I won't. Oh. Voice of an angel. She doesn't sing her own stuff. What? Is this my smoothie stuff? Yes. Yes, but uh, please allow me. Uh, hold on. Where's my fresh turmeric? Just stop. Just let me do it. Please, forget it. I'm going to... You don't even know what you're doing. Just oh. Let's do this. This is our. <gasps> The gun that we found at the Roosevelt, turns out that it's registered to you. We also uncovered the insurance policy that you took out on Azara. Ooh. Why would I kill the goose for one egg? I don't know. Maybe the goose is a pain in the ass. Unless you've got something else to say, I'm leaving. I do have something else to say. You're under arrest, arrest for the murder of Jill Murray, Benny Parker, and the attempted murder of Azara. No! Wait! Well, you told her. <laughs> Nothing else to say. Oh, she had something to say. Go first. She lied and betrayed me. Oh, they're yes. mediating, mediating. They're, they actually got Maze there to mediate with. Wow. And if I could take it all back, I would. All I can do is say, I'm sorry, and I miss you, Maze. Oh, is there anything that you'd like to apologize for, Mazaki? She just said she boned my ex. Resolving conflict means uh, accepting culpability on both sides. And I didn't do crap. She called dips. <laughs> but at least I don't claim to be the good one. You forgot the one rule that matters. Hose before bros. Well, it's pretty tricky to follow that rule when you seem to have slept with a half of Los Angeles. And yet you begrudge me the one man I've cared about in a really long time. Ooh. That's how much I care about our future. Go to hell. Wow, Maze is not going to um, crow from this at all. Good time for a breather? We're done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm You get naked. I beg your pardon? <laughs> and I always have sex the night before a show. It, it calms me. So who'd you have sex with the night before somebody tried to kill you? You know what? And this is when Chloe walks in. I don't think in. you like me. Really? Mm -mm. Whatever gave mm -mm. you that impression? <laughs> okay, if you don't like me, why were you so hell-bent on being my bodyguard? I'm trying to take my focus off someone very dear to me. But a friend. The detective you work with. How did you? 
Why are you trying to convince yourself that you don't like her? I'm not trying to convince my... It's not me I'm trying to convince. It's my father. So I'm afraid that he's going to come after the things that I care about the most. Well, you're a cop, sort of. <laughs> Loosely. Loosely. <laughs> not Works even. in government. Mm. Rules the universe. Freaking politicians. <laughs> you can't let anyone come in between you and the things you're passionate about in this life. Hey, I don't know about you, but I could use a drink. Oh, well, now you are talking my language. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is there? Who else is there? Single malt girl. But the concert was canceled? The manager didn't just kill Benny, he tortured him too. What? I don't know if then he made him take all those sleeping pills, but to force him to eat all that stuff too. I mean, that is just cruel, man. What? What, what stuff? He fed Benny raw turmeric. I knew that raw turmeric was gonna come back. This all sounds like ingredients for a smoothie. Uh -huh. No, I mean the pills. It could have been blended into a smoothie like the one that Azara drinks. Oh. You know, I don't think the manager's the killer. Is it Cece or Zara? Beard to misery quotient. <laughs> After my divorce, I went for the old Walter White. <laughs> Kenny Rogers tops. Oh gosh, bring this trio of misery together. Not tonight, my friend. Put me out of a dark spot once. I love how they greet each other with a hug. He can help you out. I'm out of deal. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that for half a second. <laughs> yeah, I saw a food truck on the way in. I'm just going to grab myself a burger. Routine style. <laughs> okay, half full kind of guy. My father, or drag my brother into one of your schemes to remove your mark. This ends now. Oh, you, you've been gone a while then, a minute ago. Okay. <laughs> I got my hopes up thinking that Decker was the key, and then Lucifer, but that's what the sinner man thought. Because here I am, alive and well. well. Alive and miserable, actually. So I'm done. I quit. You happy? Yes, because this means I did it. I... Destroyed your alliance with Lucifer. I prevented you from defying my father. I passed my test. Had nothing to do with you, Punkin. Why don't you have your wings back? And how does Pierce know about his wings? How do you do that? How do you stay so positive? It's called faith, Pierce. <laughs> how could you possibly have any faith or hope when you're in a loop of endless suffering? At first I was afraid. Oh, she's singing in Lux. That's her concert. Okay. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be on lockdown? No need to get the detective involved. I've got this. Yeah, don't bring the detective anywhere in the building. Give me the microphone. Give me the microphone. Go on now, go. <laughs> Welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me? Bye. Do you think I'd crumble? So how come she couldn't sing earlier at the piano? Just turn off the sound, Lucifer. You own the bar. Sound off. <laughs> they just gave him another microphone. Is that what they did? <laughs> no one's ever gonna scare me out of the spotlight. Ever. Try me. Come on. <sighs> You. <gasps> well, this is rather public, Cece. We're supposed to keep her safe. No offense, darling, but you're the one with a knife. We've taken a turn. Two people are dead, you were shot at, and you still won't stop. I am tired of sharing you with Zara. Remember high school? The before all of this. Oh, they're longtime friends. I love you. <laughs> love me? <laughs> God, Cece, what did you do? She was trying to protect you. Force mm -hmm. you out of the spotlight by any means necessary. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
Come back around to Lucifer. I'm never gonna stop singing, Cece. Not even for me? Mm. My music means more to me than anything. Even you. She's gonna hurt herself now. No! No! Oh, what? I just wanted her to be safe. Well, who's the heroic one now? <gasps> what? Oh my god, Lucifer, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be okay? Well, it's a pie on his shoulder. What are you thinking, tackling somebody with a knife? Well, it's not me. I was worried about Detective. You see, it's like I was saying, Pierce. You gotta have faith, because life can surprise you. Now, if my brother, the devil, can have that, maybe I can too. So he's gonna find his Chloe? He's so shaved. Hi. <gasps> oh no. Congratulations on another song. Is he gonna ask out Chloe? Her show's back on for the night, and she sent me two VIP tickets to say thank you. But well, you deserve them. So who are you taking? Oh, I don't know. It's just. I thought you'd never ask. But sure, yeah, why not? Great, I'll see you later. Okay. Oh no. Morning, detective. No, no, I am back to status quo. Can you see my brain working? Tickets for a Zara show tonight. All right, what time shall I pick you up? Mm -hmm. It didn't seem like you were that interested in hanging out with me lately, so well, Pierce and I are gonna go together. It's too real. <laughs> this is hell. <laughs> Linda, do you just work all hours of the night? I think I've made a horrible mistake. Pierce. <laughs> when Aminadale said you could have something like that, I don't think he was saying specifically Chloe. <laughs> And Pierce Kane has never been in relationships before. It sounded as if he'd been in one over and over and over again. And that's why he was just feeling like it was cursed because people he would love would die. But he's willing to do that again with Chloe. And at this point, Maze is being too stubborn. And therefore, I don't think she's being a very good friend at all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. How do they redeem? And I'm saying redeem. Maze, as in, because right now I don't think Maze is worthy of Linda's friendship. To not even consider another side when she was fully done with that relationship. And it was a relationship she didn't really care about to start with. Maze is taking this too far. My opinion. She's taking it too far. But I do love how Charlotte was the mediator and was actually full on mediating. It was great. So now we're going to get a pier Pierce. Courtship of Chloe for how long? How long could they drag this out? How long could they drag this out? I know we have a lot of the season left to go, but I think I will definitely need something major to complete. I will either need a Minadale to get his wings back, or I will need Chloe to find out about Lucifer, who's Lucifer. Because right now, the big things, those big things, I feel like they're getting a little stretched. The maze being obstinate thing a little too far. Me wants to get a little going, but we have so much left of the season to go. What an odd little episode. <laughs> and I say it's odd because of the way we went about it with this spoiled pop star diva who didn't really care her life was in danger and people were getting killed around her trying to protect her or in the... <laughs> it was a really weird way to get to this point. But okay, there we go. <laughs> Episode 17, 
done. More to come. More to come. So do not be free stranger. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it because then you'll know when the next episode drops, which I don't know when that will be. But I want you there with me for that journey. So until then, please take care of yourselves. This is your reminder. It's vaccination season. I've got my COVID booster already. I get my flu booster next week. Stay safe, stay sane, stay hydrated, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.